everybody, it's Kim, and today I want to share with you my um, July Guest DT project for Lavish Laces. Yay! Very exciting. Um, Gisela had asked me to do a project this month, so of course I said yes because you guys know how much I love Lavish Laces. So, um, as I go along, I will explain to you what I did, and I will also show you the laces and trims that I used. Um, my inspiration for this was this piece. Um, as you saw at the beginning in the, the photographs, um, this is a little cabinet. And this is actually, believe it or not, chipboard. Um, it's from Gina's Designs. And it came in pieces, and it was super easy to put together. Um, but it's really, really solid chipboard. And uh, so it's a great little storage piece. And my inspiration for this was... I was looking online and I came across these images of these um, haberdasheries, they're called, and um, around the turn of the century, uh, early 1900s, late 1800s, they were very, very popular because a lot of people had to make their own clothes back then. And um, you would go into these shops in France or England, somewhere in Europe, and you would buy your fabric, your lace, your notions, etc. And all of these photographs that I looked at, they had these huge cabinets where they would keep all of the lace and the fabric and, and everything. And so that is what inspired me to make this piece, um, was sort of going along that theme. So um, as you'll see when I'm talking about it, you'll see what I mean. Um, so it sort of has that type of a, a vibe to me and it's supposed to be like a vintage haberdashery uh, cabinet and um, so yeah that's what I did so after I put this piece together um, I painted it white and I used the Prima Divine paper on this love that paper um, what I did after I put all the paper on I distressed everything of course and then um, I used some of my homemade texture paste on the doors here, you can see. Um, because I just wanted the doors to be white. There was enough color going on, so I wanted the doors to stay white. And as you saw in the photographs earlier, the doors do open, but we'll get to that in a moment. Um, so starting up here at the top, I guess, is the best way to do it. So over here in this corner, you can see right here a vintage spool and then here I'm just I use some gorgeous um, trim from Gisela's store and I just wound it around this bobbin or the spool pardon me and just sort of meandered it along the top this stuff is so gorgeous I just love it um, this was not in my DT kit this was some that I had that I had previously bought from Gisela I think she still has this stuff, but I'm not 100% sure, but it is from Lavish Laces. And what I did under here too, um, I've got a vintage doily here that I put on the top, right there, you can just see it peeking out. And then I've got some vintage um, bridal trim here, because I just wanted it to have a bit of sparkle. And in these haberdasheries they would have bridal things and pearls and all sorts of things sort of just lying about because you know they'd be cutting fabric all day etc etc and then here I've got three stick pins because of course if you worked in a haberdashery you would have to have stick pins and pins for your pinning so I use these pretty um, stick pins in the same colors and then I just have this cute little cherub here who's sleeping I just thought it looked really cute and a little uh, vintage millinery flower here and then these flowers here are all from my DT kit, and they're from Gisela. Um, gorgeous and beautiful wild orchid craft flowers. She sent me some in pink and white, and then the smaller white ones here and down here. You can see that one right there. And then here you see another um, piece of vintage bridal trim. And then under here I've got some um, rosette trim. And I'll show you on the side of the box as well, but this was originally white, and I tea dyed it, and I've got it here, I'll show you. Well, it's kind of a cream color, actually. So it looked like this, 
and I tea dyed it and then I'll show you on the side here you can see the difference in the color. You can see right here there's a big difference in color. So it took the uh, tea really really well and it um, came up just beautiful and shabby. I just love it. So that is some of that rosette trim. And then as you go along the top more, you'll see here a little bird cage with another little vintage millinery flower there. And then over here, more wild orchid craft flowers. And then this is a metal piece here. I just thought it was so cute. It's a little kitty cat. <laughs> little kitty cat cameo. And then here, another of the beautiful flowers that Gisela sent me right here. And it's sitting on top of another um, little rosette trim that I had tea dyed. And then you see here more bridal trim. And then here you see two spools and I just um, used my distress inks and um, just to sort of color them and make them look vintage. Oh, there's a glue string. How nice. And um, what I did with this one here, this is more lavish laces trim right here. And I just tied it around the spool. And then I took the little baker's twine here and just tied it in a knot. And then this one here, I just wound it around and I laid the spool on its side and then it's kind of coming down here around the side. So this side here, you can see the rosette trim here. And then this trim right here was originally white, and I will show you what I have. Um, this is what Gisela sent me in my DT kit, and I tea dyed, oops, sorry, I tea dyed this as well. And the cotton um, lace really takes on the dye well. Um, it just soaks it right up, and it comes out to this beautiful, lovely tan color. It's so, so pretty. I just love it. So I used that lace there, and then of course here are more flowers from Wild Orchid Crafts. And then down here I've used this beautiful uh, flower trim right here, and I will show it to you. It's one of my favorites, and I've done quite a bit with this. You'll be surprised on my next project as well. So that's what it looks like originally. I just love this stuff. And what I did on this piece was I just cut out the little appliques and I um, put them here and I just put a little flat back pearl. And then this lace here, I love, love, love. It is so, so beautiful. I have, I think, a really tiny piece maybe left. Maybe I don't. <laughs> no, I must have used it all. Oh gosh. Um, yep, I don't have any. I just looked through. Sorry guys, I don't have any, but it is beautiful, gorgeous um, pink trim, and it looks like little hearts right here. I don't know if you can see that or not on the camera, but it's so pretty, so dimensional, and incredibly soft. It is so beautiful. I just love, love this lace. And then here is another piece from Gina's Designs, a uh, little chipboard chair and some more flowers. I'm going to do the other side now, and then we'll do the front. So on this side here, you can see up here I've done another one of those little appliques and uh, another flat back pearl. Down here I've got a vintage doily and some more wild orchid craft flowers, and then of course a little Eiffel Tower right there, because we're in Paris. <laughs> and then this is a uh, metal um, piece from Melissa Francis, I think, or Prima, can't remember. And then I just fussy cut this lady out of the, the um, divine paper. And then of course more of the beautiful, gorgeous pink trim here. It's one of my favorites. I just love it. And then another one of the little appliques down here. And then right here in the corner you'll see a few more flowers. And then up here you'll see more of this gorgeous trim that I tea dyed right here. And then here I use the Tim Holtz hitch fastener. And of course the haberdashery needs a pair of scissors, so that's what I've used right here. And this of course is also from Lavish Laces, this sweet little trim. 
it's gorgeous and I've had this in my stash for a while so again I'm not sure if she has this one but any of the smaller laces from Gisela's shop would work um, but I just like that one it's one of my favorites um, so anyway that's the scissors they would use to cut their lace and fabric okay so coming around to the front starting at the top right here I've got the word cherish and I just used my homemade texture paste and right here you can see more of that pink trim right there I just cut out one of the pieces and tucked it in behind to give a bit of pink color there and then I've got a little um, Prima trinket right here it says love and then another Genus Design chipboard piece which is the Fleur de Lis right here and then this gorgeous, beautiful lace in here, which I absolutely adore. I don't seem to have much of that left either. Nope, don't have any of that left either, so I must have used it all. Um, this is a gorgeous lace. Um, it is, again, very, very dimensional. And these are one of the new ones that she's got in her shop right now. Um, and it's like a a soft tan color. It, it may look a little bit color because I have sprayed a bit of Lindy's um, soft baby pink so it may look a little pink in the photograph there but it's actually a lovely ivory color and then over here you can see a little a little birdie right there on the side. Okay so for the doors what I did was I just tied them with a piece of um, seam binding and I use the little Tim Holtz hitch fasteners for this piece so you just take these out and here I've got um, just a little um, closed pin and another piece from the collection and I just and it says Paris on it which I thought work would work well and that's just I just sort of distressed it and roughed it up and then down here in the corner I've got some of the new um, mini rosette trims that Gisela has in her store and I will show you them now. Um, there you go. And they're the small mini ones and they're so pretty. I just love these mini ones. Oh, and I also wanted to say too, this trim at the top, she also has it in black. And I do have the black left, some black left. So there's the black. So she does have this uh, color as well, the ivory, and she also has it in this black. So, Okay, so after I put the little mini rosette trim here, I've got a few more little flowers and a piece of vintage um, wedding trim. And then a, just a little bit of pearl bling at the top and the bottom of the door. And then on this side, I've got another rosette trim up here in the corner more flowers and some vintage millinery flowers here another piece i cut out from the paper line and then down here is just another little um, vintage wedding trim and now the doors do open so i'll open this one and you can see inside that i've put more of the prima divine paper and then this trim here i just love it is so pretty there you can see it there and I have some of that left, so I will show you. This is one of my favorites. I absolutely adore this trim. It is so pretty. And it's really just a gorgeous, gorgeous, thick cotton. I just absolutely love it. And this would tea dye beautifully as well if you wanted to tea dye it. So I put that all the way across. And then here I've got some more lavish laces from my stash and I thought this one was really pretty because it kind of looked like a little ballet curtain so I put that on the top of both of the doors so there's what it looks like with the doors open there you go and there you can see the paper on the inside and I just painted it white and I thought, you know, this would be perfect to store your laces or your rosette trim. Like rosette, these mini rosette trims would be stored perfectly in here. 
they would just fit in there really, really nicely. And you could just close the doors and have all your rosette trim right here. <laughs> so this is um, part one of my DT project. I think I'm going to be running long, so I think I'm going to uh, do this in two parts. So I hope that you like this first project that I'm showing you. And if you have any questions, just ask. And the link to Gisela's store will be down below. So please go and check it out and have a look. And yeah, if you haven't shopped with Gisela yet, please do because you will love it. But there is one word of warning. It's addictive. Yes. I admit I'm a lace addict. I have a problem, but you know, that's okay. <laughs> uh, anyway, that is my project. I hope you like it. And thank you so, so much, Gisela, for asking me to do something this month. I really enjoyed it and uh, it was just a lot of fun to create as it always is with your beautiful laces and you are such a lovely lady to work with so thank you for everything and uh, yeah I'll be back with my second project shortly so take care guys I'll see you in a bit bye bye